Hi there and welcome back to another Sample Market Producer Tips and Tricks video. In this series we aim to show you unique and creative sound design and production techniques to hopefully help enhance and deepen your understanding of the software, synths and plugins you're using. Today we'll be having a look at some sound design and FM synthesis techniques. We'll be checking out workflows with a couple of different synthesizers but essentially these techniques can be applied in many different soft synths and in fact doors such as Logic Pro, Ableton Live, FL Studio all feature FM synths within their native suite of plugins. So let's kick off with a quick run through of the sounds we'll be making in this video. So we'll begin with Massive, which is excellent for garage and speed garage bass sounds. Taking our init preset, let's set oscillator 1 to a square wave and pitch it down minus 2 octaves and then dial in a sine wave in oscillator 2 to add a little bit more sub frequency to our bass, again pitch down minus 2 octaves. Now we can add a filter with the resonance cranked up a little. You can hear by sweeping the filter frequency, we've already got quite a garage-like tone. So let's add an envelope to the filter frequency to apply some movement, making sure we opt for a slow attack which has loads of attitude to our sound. Although technically you can't apply frequency modulation in Massive, you can achieve very similar results utilising the Mod OSC and the Phase Mode, directing this to modulate Oscillator 2, our sine wave, and especially when we detune the Mod OSC, we can create a very FM-like detuned vibe. Now heading to the voicing section, we can apply a little unison detune by increasing the voices to free, for example, and sliding the pitch cutoff to detune these extra voices a little. And finally, we can add a couple of effects here, some tube distortion, which will beef the sound up and the Dimension Expander effect, which is excellent. Essentially, it's like a chorus. It will thicken up the sound, add a little bit more width, a little bit more depth. And maybe we can also add the modulation envelope to the Mod OSC amount for some increased movement on this phase modulation. And to ensure the bass plays nicely with the kick drum, I've added a simple LFO tool. Some sidechain compression here would achieve the same result. And just to mention briefly the bus channel I've created here, which I'm sending all the bass sounds I'm making through, just to beef them up a little bit, to produce them a little. So for starters, we have the Imager plugin from Isotope, which allows us to cut any stereo information below 300 to 400 hertz, which is essential really for bass sounds to make sure there's no phase issues. I've then added some compression, generally it's compressing by 3 to 5 dB. Some saturation and finally micro warmer, which is adding a combination of analog style drive and compression. Now jumping over to Serum, another incredible synth for gnarly FM style garage and speed garage basses. Again, kicking off with the init patch, we can change the waves to sine waves. Generally speaking, using one sine wave to modulate the frequency of another sine wave and then modulating the FM amount control 
is an excellent method for creating speed garage and garage style bass tones. So let's pitch the sub oscillator and OSC A down one octave for a more subby tone. And having taken down the volume of OSC B as essentially we're using this oscillator as the modulation source, we can then select FM from B on our oscillator A and use this amount control to apply the frequency modulation. We now need some movement on this control. So let's apply an envelope to modulate the amount. The amount of modulation you apply and the envelope shape all comes down to the vibe you're going for and individual taste. We can also apply this envelope to the filter cutoff too to dial in the same movement on the filter frequency. I've also added a few effects to this sound, such as the hyper dimension, which is very similar to the dimension expander on Massive, a chorus and some compression, culminating in a more chorused and detuned bass sound. Another effective method for designing bass sounds like this is to double up your synth and shift the MIDI up an octave for some more pronounced mids. On this mid layer I've swept away any low frequencies so it doesn't clash with our bass layer and added some extra chorus via a separate plugin which yields a nicer, wider tone. Lastly, let's take a quick look at this sound I created using Splice's Astra synth. Although this synth is only available with a Splice subscription, if you do have it, be sure to check it out as it's incredible at FM style garage basses. This sound I've created employs the same technique as the Serum sound, essentially using a sine wave to modulate the frequency of another, and once again I'm modulating the FM amount via an envelope. And to beef this sound up a little, Given the lows were very dynamic, I've applied a simple low cut and inserted a separate synth which is acting like a dedicated sub layer. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tips and tricks video. I hope it's provided you with some nice ideas for designing your own speed garage and garage style bass sounds, utilizing FM synthesis. And of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with future sample market content being published on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Yeah.